all heard about Shiba Inu's personality and character, and we all know about now the stereotypes about this breed. And since I've had Aoki, I realized as he grew up、um, that they are not a hundred percent right. I mean, what you see on Google, what you read about them, can be true sometimes, but not always. So let's talk about that today. For those who have been following along for some time now, you all know that Aoki it tends to be lazy. I mean, lazy boy is another nickname we gave to Aoki, and he turned out to be one of the laziest Shiba Inu I know. Ever since I got him, he would sleep through his nights very easily, and today Aoki can sleep over 12 hours. Once I wake up, he gets out of bed. Not to start the day, but to merely transition to the sofa. If I do not motivate myself in taking an early morning walk, he would not move. In fact, he does not even want to go outside. Gearing him up is a struggle in itself, and I have to usher him through the door. It's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> There is something that I started to notice for the past few months. I mean, Aoki's routine and patterns within their day would change as he grows up, but now he's getting more settled. But there is this one thing about Aoki that makes him one of the most laziest of the lazies: is the fact that he will not eat if he doesn't feel like it. That means if he's too tired, he's just feeling lazy. He would not get out of bed and eat. I can top his meal with his favorite: sweet potato, egg, spinach, celery. You name it, nothing will work. Not even a PB lake mat. He'd rather stay cozy in bed and snooze rather than just get out and eat his meal. Speaking of eating. He- I noticed that he prefers eating from a bowl or from a mat rather than eating his food out of a topple,、um, just because it's too much work for him. That is how much Aoki can be lazy. It is also known that Shiba Inus are usually dogs that are quite silent and discreet, and that can be very true. But they can also be very barky. I can say that Aoki is barky per se, like someone else we know. But he is protective of his space and people, and sometimes he tends to silent bark or growl if something startles him or suddenly approaches us. There is also his extreme fear of children, of course. But there is also the fact that he that he barks a lot at home whenever he hears banging or someone in the staircase. In Boba's case, she is more barky in general and in situations that are not too clear. And as you know from our previous video, I had her over last week, and she was quite barky at random people and dogs. She also started to bark at a doggo who was just chilling. Next to us, I am not a dog professional, so I cannot read the situation very well. What I can say though is that Shiba Inus are generally quite silent. Yes, but this is a generalization of who they are. Remember that each and every dog is different.
there might be specific character traits that come up a lot when looking to Shiba Inus. We all heard them cat-like, independent, hard-headed, but again, those are your, in most cases, scenarios. I have met chiefs that are very cuddly, affectionate, and people-friendly. You've all been so generous and call Aoki obedient. He does listen well and is attentive to me. And I think what really helped is building a bond that grew stronger with time. We all teach our dogs to listen to us, but keep in mind that you also need to listen to them. Read cues and know when to be more strict or less hard on them. Again, each dog, regardless of their breed, is their own dog. They each have their own personalities, their preferences, and I think it's always best to raise a pup based on their own character and personality than only considering their breed. I'm curious to know, is there something that you didn't expect from your Shiba Inu? Let me know in the comments below. And that's it guys, if you made it this far, give our video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. In the meantime, I thank you all for watching and we'll see you all on the next one. Bye!